Goedemorgen. Dag drie van de masterclasses verzorgd door het Koninklijk Concertgebouw Orkest en chef-dirigent Daniele Gatti. Mijn naam is Hans Hafmans. Terwijl ik het zeg, realiseer ik me hoe bijzonder dit is. Dag drie. Bij een wereldtop orkest met een overvolle jaarplanning. De, het concertseizoen is nauwelijks ten einde. Het orkest doet nog mee, werkt mee aan de veelbejubelde en veel eisende opera Salome van Richard Strauss. En dan drie dagen inplannen om vier jonge dirigenten de kans te geven een stap verder te komen in hun jonge carrière. Mag ik als eerste een warm applaus voor de generositeit en de tomeloze inzet van dit Koninklijk Concertgebouworkest. Dank u wel. Um, er zijn vier jonge dirigenten, Sergei Neller, Valentina Pelleggi, Jurgi Rosen en David Roens. Zij leggen hun hele hebben en houden, hun ziel en zaligheid in de waagschaal om ook een stap verder te komen. Ach, u kent het klappen van de zweep ondertussen wel. Mobieltjes in de prullenbak, geen video, geen audio, uh, opname en dergelijke. For our English speaking guests, please no pictures and no video uh, recordings during these sessions. Um, u hebt het waarschijnlijk door. We dringen door tot het uiteinde van de aarde. Tienduizenden volgers, uh, liefhebbers volgen ons op Facebook. Laat ik ze even toespreken als u het goed vindt. Um, all music lovers worldwide, wherever you are on this planet, thank you for joining us today. Tens of thousands of music lovers join us every day. It's a privilege for us. Welcome at the Concertgebouw in Amsterdam on Facebook or on rcoamsterdam.com slash live. There you have it on, in uh, high definition. Right, on the music stands, just like yesterday, Stravinsky's Petrushka, please welcome the young conductors and Daniele Gatti. Jurgi and David are the conductors for this first session. Start please with Petrushka from the top. Thank 
You speak English. You just say something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty boy. <laughs> uh, look, the first thing is that the trumpets and the wind sprayer yes. are not together. That's usually the, trump the trumpet for a couple of times was rushing in the seventh. Yes. Hmm? And then you, you push the tempo. You want faster the session. Not really. No, I would say it should stay in tempo. Uh, but that yes. was much quicker than. Uh, I push here a bit. That was the proportion. There it was, uh, uh, I have actually also the beginning, maybe, could have also prepared more the cell. It was a little bit hesitating at the yeah, beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then, sorry, here. All of you conducted correctly that. Uh, I think uh, it's too wide uh, the gesture. Th yeah, when, when you have a complicated bars like this, you m must be very concentrated because the space between <coughs> uh, two, three, two, three, you, you, you must be much quicker in that. No? Yes. You see? And uh, <coughs> now, let's see if it's possible for the first time, as you said, show, show the us what you want here. Okay. I have the impression, but it's the impression that is also uh, I have when I do this, that the orchestra is really behind me, no? Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. And you yes. want to push, but yeah. actually you are doing the opposite. Because if you want to go on with the tempo... You have to relax more. You, you, yeah. you, you beat a lot, sir, and mm -hmm. then instead the tempo gets... More Yeah, slower, can we yeah. try? But it's a feeling, eh? It is, yes. It's a feeling, <laughs> especially when they have... Bom, bom, bom. You maybe go a little bit and you well, I emphasize... Like the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. First beat, tara 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 tara. Because horn and clarinet, horn and clarinet. One, two, three. There you go. There you go. The problem is the flute. Tara tara tara. Sometimes the risk that the second bar beat, of the second bar arrives a little bit late for the mm -hmm. flute. Yes. No. Tara tara tara. Etc. If you mark. The third beat to <coughs> strong. To strong. Quasi not together. Thank you. Yes, I, I could be in, in more contact with the trumpet there at your 
yeah, beginning that we are absolutely the problem of the at the beginning of the bar. That. Which is the problem of the of that? Is it a little bit too slow? The no. the, the, the eight no, note. No. The, the no. Too quick. Too quick. Okay. And I just had the feeling that it, that we are not on point yes. at the beginning of the bar. From ta 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 ta. Ta 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 it's written that for the phrasing, but it's not ta 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 ti ta ta ti ta ta. So it's again quaver, beat, quaver yes. to quaver. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have the impression that probably the trumpet is a little bit quicker than, but minimal things respect the, the mm -hmm. winds player, the other winds player. Uh, three. Let's try to three. three. Oops. Figure sorry. three. Sorry. Figure three. Thank you. <laughs> This kind of writing, uh, you are doing this. Sorry, and the, the problem is that to, to get exactly the thing you are doing <laughs> like that, no? Instead, is <laughs> minimal. Two, two, ticketing, oh, ticketing, but not that because it's too too wide. It's too pesante yeah, yeah. yeah. no, for to start to start perfectly mm -hmm. together with the same speedness. from the 13, three before, before 13, from the course of the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Crescendo of the trumpet, three before. The series of 5-8, the last series of 5-8 is fine, but you are waiting a little bit. You, are mm -hmm. the, you, have to, you have to be much more precise when you m mark uh, the second part of the bar. Because you are doing uh, ta ti 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 and then mm -hmm. it works, eh? because when it works, it works. But if I want to, to pass some honest information, it's not absolutely top clear. Mm -hmm. huh? Two and three is, is a little bit unclear. Can you work on this fortissimo? As uh, yesterday we did as an example with the other colleagues. Yes. Because seven, now the orchestra is screaming. Not play a proper bright forte, but it's just yes. <laughs> it's not it's not festive enough. It's no, 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 it's over festive. Okay. 
could we could you, we you see that, that uh, as well yesterday that we, we balance with the trumpet with percussion and now we return mm -hmm. in another condition so yes. uh, i would like to ask you if it's possible just to be more in control of that sonority okay could we please start just one bar before seven one before seven please Yes, uh, I would say uh, before maybe now the brass sound and also the percussion was a little bit, a little bit softer. So you remember, uh, uh, I think a couple of days, yeah, the day, no, not yesterday, was, was uh, Tuesday. No, uh, was Wednesday. No? And Wednesday, yes. We yes. talk about this. Uh, just to, f to, to, to have an example for, for uh, Giri. Uh, all, the, all the winds player, please. All the winds player. Mm. Uh, le let's play together without the percussion okay. and without piano and without harp. Woodwinds and brass. Pam, 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 pa, pa, pa. Up a bit of seven. Of seven. <laughs> Sort of melody that uh, in the piccolo. Yeah. So maybe the piccolo could reduce a bit the series of G and the change and the change a little bit more every time it was, it was going to change. Now I have the impression that it's it's quite compact the way and the style. No? You have the horns had the part of the brass and the, and the winds play it, the wood winds play it, let's play ti, da, 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 ti, da. To have another example, maybe you can ask da, 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 da. A little bit shorter, everybody. Can we, ha can I have this? Hold on. are too long. Yes. The trombo are still too long. Ti, ti, ta, 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 ta. Like to play in the church. So we have to mm. really get shorter notes because the resonance. But I explain to you why. Uh, once more again, three or four bars. Control the piccolo and invite the piccolo. And remind, the remind, remind to him when is the moment. <laughs> add uh, percussion, piano, and harp. Not louder than this, okay? okay. Plus percussion, harps, and piano.
Center. It's actually not the sound I desire. What kind of sound what from the strings? I want uh, more bright. Uh, Brighter? I, I wouldn't say that it's so short and accent. More singing quality. Longer? A little bit longer, yes. Uh, not, not bright. The bright? It's, it's in tempo, I mean, but uh, of course a little bit. I don't understand. Bright more in singing. tempo or longer? Longer. 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 Ti tenuto. Exactly. Okay. He not bright. You want no bright. Not bright. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, wait a minute. One, one step after the other. Brighter gestrichen. I mean. Ah, yeah. bright. Ah. Brighter, I meant. Brighter, brighter, yeah. brighter. <laughs> ah, okay. Lange zogen. Noch mal, noch nicht. Ja. Uh, uh, yeah. So. Zum Beispiel. Yeah. Tenuto, a little bit more tenuto. Okay, more tenuto. Could we try, please, in the strings, a little bit more tenuto? Strings like <laughs> you ask, uh -huh. yes, and the winds short like you rehearsed before. Rehearsed yes. before. Okay, mm -hmm. two different two different articulation, but just to test <laughs> what is the, the, <laughs> the effect. Okay. Huh? help the strings uh, with a sort of uh, bright sound <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you have uh, you have a, a noble moment of uh, with, with string that is a good uh, it's a good solution I don't think it, yes. oh, and and uh, and uh, the control of the sound is much much more accurate so this, the orchestra is not screaming out without control Now, just one time here, then there is another place to, to, to see. Three, three bars before 13, the crescendo of the trumpets. Huh? Pam, yes. um, probably it's arrived a little bit too late, and there arrives mm -hmm. troppo forte, probably. It's just a little bit sour. Mm -hmm. Three before 13. Absolutely quickly from the note. Okay, okay. It's okay. You, you can it, you can do better here. Probably, probably uh, straight away. Fifteen. Oh, Fifteen. <laughs> Yeah, 15, straight away. <laughs> now, now, you pass three notes before you pass them. It's quasi in 6 8 your, your beat. Mm -hmm. Is that true or not? She do it. He does. Yeah, da, 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 da. I don't know how can you do, but you are able to do 6 8, uh, at, at six, eight bar wise 5 8. I see. No? You are doing. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's, it's a genius, but uh, 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 no, you, you see, one two one. Okay, quick, quick, one two one two.
This was not. It was at the end. It was. It was in this here. Here, yes. Let's take one twenty seven. One twenty seven, please. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do please one more time. 127. Oh. Just missing the second of 120. Eight, uh, the buttons and contrabassin. Could could we please do again last time? One hundred twenty-seven. You want to a little bit slower, a little bit faster, but you are quite far from. from yes, it. Yeah. maybe a little bit slower here, but still faster than this. Yeah. No, it's a doppio movimento. Exactly. Yes. Da 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 da. Cha 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 I don't want to say the right step, but closer to mm -hmm. yes. uh, 127. One, two, one, two, one, two. One upbeat, not, not all about the upbeat. Mm -hmm. Not. Okay. Okay, <laughs> no, one upbeat. Three. <laughs> not slow. Slow. Okay. Slow. It's <coughs> fixed. <laughs> And then I don't conduct anymore because it's just a problem that you have to resolve. We try in one and two instead of beating eight notes. So why why you find problems and they are in trouble? Why? I would say it's maybe easier in. No, uh, oh, easier. Uh, you I, I try. What are you doing? Okay. Mm -hmm. Like this. 
A lot. It it a lot. It slows down it a bit. A, a lot actually. A lot. So, At this yeah. tempo is a lot. Mm -hmm. At the tempo that you did before. But much faster, of course. Yeah. When it's faster, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then you consider yesterday when we when we gather one, two, three bars, you know, and in the skeleton of four, the mm -hmm. big yes, four. Yeah. Or we have here a big tree. One, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four. Two eights is one four. Yes. So it's one move. Yeah. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the bar in two eight. Yes. It's just one four. Yes. <coughs> Should be one move exactly one mm -hmm. single move. Of the previous there. one. So yes. ta 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 ta. This is the two eight bar. Okay. Yes. It's one movement. Mm -hmm. Three eight. One two one two one two one two one two three. One two three one two three one two three. Another two eight. One movement. Yes. In total, a bar in three. Yes. Mm -hmm. A bar which is two, three, and two. Seven. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, five, one. Tum -ting, tum -ting, tum -ting, tum -ting. Okay. Yes. Let's try yes. to mm -hmm. resolve like this. Okay. What, uh, do, do I show to you? I'm sorry? You want to do I show to you how? You can. <laughs> yeah. You want? Okay. We, uh, sorry, not the time. <laughs> three, four. Yes. And uh, the last two eight bar, which is a one four, in the in the three is the upbeat of pam 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 pam. The try. Okay. Maybe uh, about, okay. Do it from the beginning. One bar before two eight. Before one twenty eight. Okay. Three, four. <coughs> yeah. Once more again. Sorry. Hort or so, s'il vous plaît. Um. No, excuse me, trombones. Sorry, sorry. Trombones. And bassoon. One twenty eight, one before. I, I, I'm blind this morning. Oh no, do I? The two eight bars is very important for them because they. One bar before the, the solo. You mean bam, one bar before? 28. 28. Okay. <laughs> I know, the two eight bar is too big. Undo, pa, pa, unta, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, boom. No. One, two, one, no. <laughs> I know. No, okay, okay. We, we arrive. We arrive. Hmm? Count in your mind. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. Without the orchestra. Okay. No, to me. Conduct one, me. Two. Conduct me. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. No, one, two. No, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. Boom. Relax. Ah, 
When you start uh, one before 28, mm -hmm. how is your beat? No. The same. Not, not there. This is. <coughs> Boom. No. Boom. Like this. Clack. Boom. Okay. Back. Clack. Boom. No. Clack. Back. Oh, okay. okay. This is mm -hmm. the twi two eight bar too. Okay. I I will try it with me. I will try. You try. try. Yeah. Avanti, eh? Okay. This is something different. Well, I actually thought to do this in eight notes, so it's quite yes, no, but very uh, different. But yeah. Yes, uh, but uh, okay, you have to be ready to do True. either in eight or not. Yes, if, yes, the, yes. The, if the tempo is, is lower, but if the tempo is lower, you have also to do in. in uh, No, uh, sorry, uh, one before 28, sorry. Excuse me. <coughs> And also, in, in the yes. slow tempo, you have to, to manage. Let's try in the mm -hmm. slow tempo. Yeah. Yes. One, one. Oh, I shall be going from the beginning, sorry. Yeah. One bar before 28, yeah. Va bene, va bene, va bene, dai, con calma. Oggi pomeriggio, this afternoon we, we see a little okay. bit, eh? Yes, okay. good. Okay. Grazie, bravo. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sorry, I had to do the idea of the detail. I wanted to do it. Uh, I don't think it's yeah, really yeah, technical. Yeah. Thank you. Stop, stop. Eh? This is stop. Good morning, from the beginning, please. <laughs> uh, it's the moment. They, they decide everything. Let's go on. What do you want to do now? Uh, <laughs> the, the, 
the next place, to the, which is difficult. Yes, okay. I mean, yes. Yeah. Or maybe the same. Mm, whatever you like. Yeah. I wanted the only same. change. Uh, I, I, I wanted only check if it's good. My five eight here in this. You did very well. What do you want to do? The second section? Yes. Uh, but this da da is the repetition. Da 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 da. 100. Ah. Yes. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Good, good. Uh, 127. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one. Yes. Same place uh, as before. 127. Six bars, excellent. The second six bars, really, really not good here. Mm -hmm. uh, then we see before, two before 29. You beat the tree much slower. You beat. Okay, I I try to. Maybe yeah, you try, but maybe it's not the right solution at this tempo. Yeah, it's slower all the time. Okay. Make a favor, please. Shelly double bass, just a favor. You play tam 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 tam. Can you add in 129 again the flat C and then six notes in three eighth bars? Red dot dun 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 to have a series of uh, Pam 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 pam. Aha, okay. Try. You know? It's clear, no? No, 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 no. No, no, no. One bar before 128. Nine. Each one Just Charlie double bass. And then instead to have it, they repeat this. Yes, I understand. And you conduct in the style that you conducted. One before 29. Only basses and chess. Only basses and chess. No, no, no. Excuse me. So it's, it's just an exercise for my, my, my friend. Don't play what is written. You keep going to play in quaver notes. Okay? Quaver notes. <coughs> Two quavers in, in the second bar and six in the others. Yeah, yeah, I feel. Uh, now I feel. Now have you seen eh, how mm -hmm. fast it must be? May I the same? Yes. Two before one twenty nine. Yes. The whole orchestra, everybody. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, eh? <laughs> Thank you. It's not the right way. Now you say what am I doing? Maybe conduct in one this bar. Maybe. Let's see. <laughs> but what is difficult? 
mm. what is it difficult is the start of the triplet of yes. the brush. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we stay in three, but in tempo. I don't know. <laughs> okay, if you want to try, try. <laughs> I, I, I felt that horns work with the head more. <laughs> horns and tuba. Yes. Think, if the triplets, because what is, uh, what is difficult for the ensemble is not the triplet itself, is where the triplet is placed. Hmm? Especially here, after this bar. Pam 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 one two pa 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 is a triplet in not in the beat like ta ti ta ti ta ti ta 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 pa 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 no mm -hmm. but pa 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 yes maybe if I conduct one two one two one two one two one two one two, one two. one pam 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 one 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 two okay one okay. one two with, mm -hmm. I try before you because otherwise I don't know. Maybe it's a disaster also with me, but I, I don't know. <laughs> it could be eh? two before twenty nine. Especially the last bar is the most difficult. Mm -hmm. Once more again. So my heart is going. <laughs> <laughs> But la the last, mm, yeah, the first one was better, I think, but here... Yes, now, now. The, we found <coughs> a way which is the probably the most orthodox. Eh? Mm -hmm. really, really yes. Now we, we try just uh, timpani, just this, this instrument. The, 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 the more, see, timpani, tuba, mm -hmm. tim all the brass and the timpani. Okay. Okay. All the brushes. Then bassoon. We see later. Just this. From one twenty nine. One twenty nine brass and per and timpani. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that the second time we we were a little bit too soon. Yes. Too earlier. All right. Try without the timpani, because the timpani is dagadam, dagadam, without the timpani. One, two. Better, much better. Once more again. Very good. Now with Marinos. Yes, it's fine because it, it's right. right. Um, pa. Right. Yes. Now, uh, very clear the bar in two. Mm -hmm. It's a reference point for them uh, between the two triplets. Okay. Okay. One, two. Once more again. Use the worst. 
Only the rest. Yeah, not that. Only the rest. It's much more I, I got it. Just please. the other members, the bassoon and, uh, and uh, all, the winds, all the winds instruments together, 129. No, no, careful, careful, the 2-8 bar is, is, is already 3 for you, eh? Umpa um. Okay, tutti, please. <laughs> difficult. Maybe can we try one place also which is difficult? Yes. Maybe yes. This one. Yes. Okay. After the fermate right. especially. Okay. From the from the beginning. It be better to to connect to connect. Uh, then the orchestra let the orchestra play a little bit. Uh, from uh, 143. In one. Before 138. Yes, three before 148. Maybe it's unexpected that I give the first bit also. The or the para, the, the sixteenth is to, it's right on the beat. Para, mm -hmm. that is the problem. And then it goes uh, with, with the pizzicato. So we have to have taram. And you are so really the quick uh, to pass on the second bit, and they do not, uh, okay. they so do they do not need more space. Space. More, more time. Taram, yes. Mm -hmm. Three. Three before. Direct from one one forty eight. Yes, directly there. <laughs> Prepare better. Prepare. I know that it is uh, a cefalo without it. I always said, but prepare better, not this. 
tarado. Pues por acá. Es que raro. Ok. Para yo do bam directly on that. And there is no space for them to to to, to play, play. Mm -hmm. the sixth note. I would like a longer fermata. Okay, so I, I try to do it. Mm. A longer fermata. And then you start again with the tempo. So you have to lose a little bit the relation of the tempo between the fermata and the next bar. Mm -hmm. Because you are doing a very short fermata, actually. It, it seems a bar, a bar in four. Un. Ta-da! 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 Three, four. Ta-ta-ta-ta. Okay. It doesn't sound like a proper fermata. Yes. Then, musically, I think, I think it's more interesting to have a longer fermata. But mm -hmm. you also catch the attention of the other players when they have to start. Ta -ta 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 -ta. The, this no? fortissimo. Yes. yes, because the minimum space between the fermata and that, as you, if it's a little bit longer, also they are ready. And because it's so. So, so, so delicate. Mm -hmm. no? This is a matter of concentration. Excuse me. Ah. Ah. <laughs> you see? Yes. Ready? And then, pam, pam. No, no, no doubt that everybody is there with you. Huh? Keeps them ready. Again. A little trick. Mm -hmm. Truc, trucco, no? Trucco. Trucco, trick. Tru a little, a little things. Sure, sorry. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Click, tac. Yeah, a little bit more clear. And do. With the, with, the, with the tip of the stick. Mm -hmm. Tick, tack, pa, pa. But you understood. Yes. I said, now I want to see how you realize this. Oh. 261. You know it's below, eh? Pa -da 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 -da. Yes, and especially wi what with this? The, the, the cesura. Yeah. The, the end. quicker than the first. Is, what you, is that what you want? Mm. Play. Ta -da 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 Actually, I wanted... You want accelerando? Yeah, I want it instead in, this I want in the last bar. No, instead, I want... Uh, yeah, but you choose a maybe good musical idea. But I'm the composer, and I said, no. I want in tempo. And uh, I want the perfect relationship between the last horn bars and the trumpet bar. Pa -pa. Yeah. The same, please. And I want more <laughs> breeze. Okay. Be uh, before. I, otherwise, I conduct by myself my music. <laughs> 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 
That is, uh, I, yeah. I, I, I said to you, there are some bars that seem so easy, are much more difficult than five eight bars. <coughs> mm -hmm. may, may I add the third bar of this feature? Yeah, no. Oh, go ahead. Tra -ri 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 -bam. Pa -pa. Fate of the musician, but uh, clear the passage between the end of the fourth to the beginning of the, uh, mm -hmm. of the next one. Uh, because you are not respecting this, the last, the last silence. Mm -hmm. it, you are too quick, then you, you are marked that, and the trumpets arrive from three bars where they have one, two, three, ah, there is a brief, then one, two, three, four, another brief, then one, two, three. They don't, they doesn't know where this, the horn stops. stops. Mm -hmm. Okay. It doesn't know, maybe, and, and they, they count. They say one, two, three, boom. Pam, and they have to think with the head in the new triplets in the slow tempo. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very, very demanding for the tri trumpet player. If we are not <coughs> reassured them during the passage between the last bar and the first bar, it could be faster, could, but they have to start pa -pa. Hmm? Last bar? bar, yes, yes. Now the one third bar. Just the last, uh, yes, the third bar. One before ah. the trumpet. Better. Yes. Better. But molto bene, brave trombe, molto bene. That is also delicate because strings arrive from the from the silence. They have no any reference point about the speedness of the triplet because this is not enough. It's too slow it's to too have. Slow for a, for and then we arrive from reference that nobody's playing the triplet. The trumpet has papa, but it's absolutely impossible for a listener to say if it's written in triplet or not. It's just a, a call, pam pa -pa. And we have to be precise, not for the speediness also, but for the clarity of cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. Mm -hmm. As big as that, less clear is. Mm -hmm. Can from the trumpet. Okay, once more again, just the triplet. Okay, but fi conduct yourself and feel the same. Just the triplet. No, no, no. Less, less, less shy, but... Uh, no. Only the... Okay. Beat. Beat. You have to beat the air. Better. With the trumpet. Oh, may I add it with this bar? Yes. Connect. <coughs> the third bar. Five eight, ba, 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 ah, yeah? earlier. You want to uh, slide? <coughs> <Yeah. coughs> Can we do from? Uh, yes. Let's let's have a little bit fun. <laughs> <laughs> Dance of Coachman two thirteen. Relax yourself and now conduct a little bit. <laughs> this is playful. <laughs> two one three. Para, 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 para. Thank you. 
吧。like to try this the last one section yeah, da, yeah, da, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we see the last bar and the passage, which is the most tricky. Yes. Two thirty-nine. Yeah, the last bar. Two, five eighths uh, similar to three four. Uh, we said yesterday it's just the space, not quaver to quaver. Keep going in one easily. Just, mm -hmm. just the winds player. Wins player in 240, 242, two bars before. Horse trumpet and wins. Pa, 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 pa. You see, again. Can you play just the bar, the, the second bar, in, in, in this tempo? Again. Now it's good. Ta, 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 ta. It's a little bit quicker. Ta, 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 ta. One, two, three. One, two, three. One bar before. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, not together, again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then la. The trumpet arrived a little bit early in the second bar. <coughs> No, conduct these two bars. These two bars. Okay. I, I, I 
hand also. And then don't beat, wait then on the tree. Mm -hmm. Then you start again. Perfect. Okay. Sorry. I get crazy. Da 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 Bom, 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 bom. Subito 240. Yes, rather than to call this, I remain from 2.45. Uh, <coughs> so to the end in one. Uh, stay in one. Da -da 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 -da. Stay in one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And from here? Stay in one. In one. No, 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 no. From here. 2.45 is enough. Yes, but 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 I I have to check. <laughs> Excuse me. Listen again. Go. Ah, even in one. L'istesso tempo. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Now you said yesterday. We said yesterday. This uh, is difficult. Ta 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 ta. Bloom. The pizzicato of the strings eh, in the sec in one bar before forty two. The last pizzicato. Mm -hmm. Where's the to realize that? Of course you have to work. I no, no, to make a surgery work on these two bars. So everybody from two bars before two forty two. Just two bars, because the problem, the conductor uh, understood, is the last pizzicato before 242. Hmm? Let's see. Uh, sorry, two before two bars. 42. Just the last two bars, the bars uh, before 42. Two bars before. Pa pa pi pa pa ta 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 ta. Ah, the last pizzicato. You said that the last pizzicato arrived late. Okay. Don't play a collarco, then. Good. Yeah. I was good. I feel yes. Uh, he said it's time. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you, we, we will continue with Gustav Mahler's Symphony No. 4, working our way towards the heavenly yeah. finale, das himmlische Leben, with uh, Nikki Turnit, young Dutch <laughs> soprano, joining us. In just a second, uh, Jirgi and David will join me once again for some small talk about love, live music, and other minor details. And uh, Vincent Kortwind, the RCO's uh, piccolo, will join me. Enjoy. Okay, come, you two, yeah.
think it's important to uh, play this beginning in a very simple way, without overly romantic or overly lyrical uh, interpretation. There was a, a, a suggestion by some that this was inspired by Russian chants from the Russian church, although Rachmaninoff dismissed that he, <laughs> he mentioned, uh, he said that it was his creation independently. Although I think perhaps indirectly he was inspired by that. A fantastic uh, sound by the orchestra and Maestro Jurovsky. I'm so grateful for this experience with them. They really did this for the music, not for themselves. And this created an amazing atmosphere of very natural music making. Well, once again, we are in one of the many foyers at the Concertgebouw with the two young heroes, Yerji and David. Boys, you survived. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you could see it's not easy. The Stravinsky, I would say, was particularly hard piece to do it for, the, let's say, for the first time ever. Uh, these places, it's not easy. So, yeah. And he makes it easier for you, doesn't he? I would say definitely. Of course, it takes a little bit time to get used to it, or when your tempo is slower in your head, or you would do a little bit slower tempo, and then you have to change the size. Of course, it, it takes time, but then afterwards, I would say definitely better. Yeah. Are wars being raged in your head? What happens when you stand there and, and conduct? Oh, actually, Petrushka, it was my first time to conduct this piece. And sometimes I didn't know how the orchestra will react on my gesture. But, yeah, through, during the rehearsal, you can feel better and better the orchestra. And then you can decide, oh, I, I will conduct like this, I will conduct like this. And with the help of Maestro Gatti, with his indications, it's much easier and it comes faster. Isn't it amazing how quickly and sharply they react? on every little gesture you make. Yes, every, you even don't have to, show, it's, it's subconscious, I would say, it's really, it's, it's incredible how sensitive the orchestra is. Yeah. Is Stravinsky more difficult than Mozart? 
oh, it's very hard to compare the, the two composers. In Mozart, we have a lot of problems with, um, with uh, traditions, habits, customs, the music drafts from Baroque, so we should also know uh, the tradition. In Tra Stravinsky, it's much difficult technically. So I really like it that Maestro uh, Gatti uh, paid attention to as well musical aspects as well as uh, technical aspects. It's very important for us. With Mozart, you cannot hide. There's no way to hide. Is, is that right? Yes, it's very, it's very transparent. So, yes, as, as you say, I would say both is, both is difficult, but from different perspectives, different ways. Yeah. And how about Mahler? Mahler is, uh, of course, it's also challenging for us because I would say we both have, have done the symphony for the first time. Yes. It's the same for you, yes. right? So always when you, when you do a piece for the first time, it's this new experience and to do it immediately with uh, such an orchestra which, uh, let's say, Mahler conducted uh, the symphony with them. So it's, it's really, it's, it's honor, but also it's, it's in a way, it's not easy, of course. I would say that Mozart is working about tradition, about the way of performing. Mahler, there are so many details. For me, personally, it was very difficult to learn the score because there are so many details, sometimes small details, indications, because we have to For remember yes. we have to remember that, that Mahler was also a conductor, so he put his remarks to the score. So yeah, it was a challenge. And Petrushka because of the technique um, problems. Okay, watch with me. The other Milanese uh, conductor we had in the history of the RCO, uh, Daniele Gatti is from Milano. So is Riccardo Chey, chief conductor in the 1990s um, here in Amsterdam. This is Le Sacre du Printemps, Igor Stravinsky with Riccardo Chey conducting the RCO. So how about that, Ricardo Chey? Yes, I have to say I like the big energy yes, which was coming out. It's it's uh, very strong energy which is coming uh, out of him, but uh, it was still clear as well. So I like it. Yeah, the energy he was very clear, and also the passion he was also inside the music very very much. I think that the passion for conductor is the most important. The passion in music. Yeah. And the precision is because he's a, 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 a percussionist, so he, he's a rhythmical 
the hero. Fashion, but yes. it's still controlled as well yes, at the same time, the which is which is really important. Yeah. So that's the balance between head and heart. I would say. Yeah. Control yes. and letting go. How about passion in your life? Well, I, we Does both. Of course, I mean we both love music. We have passion for the for the music. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But I try also, you know, find the time for for um, for some adventurous trips. Um, I love mm -hmm. the nature, so I divide my time for living and conducting. But conducting is the first one, my the most important thing, I think. Jurgi and David, it's a joy to have have witnessed you conducting, and I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And in just a moment, we will retrace our steps to uh, the main hall of the Concertgebouw for Mahler's Symphony No. 4. But first, uh, Vincent uh, Kortvrind, the, the orchestra's uh, piccolo. Just join me a little, little yes, bit closer. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, your role in Petrushka is a demanding role, isn't it? Yes, it is. But we, we didn't play really the, the very, very tricky places. Of course, in the beginning, in the, the village, uh, uh, the, the piccolo is completely at the top, really reaching one of the uh, highest notes. And it's very, very difficult to balance. You saw in the, uh, during the rehearsal that in, in my place, I'm not able to, to really balance. And I need a conductor who say you need a little more, a little less. So that's what uh, uh, Maestro Gatti uh, worked with the young conductors. Is it possible because he asked for you you t to do that, Gatti, to in the high notes to even sing to make a vocal line on the piccolo? Is is that possible? I hope so. Yeah, that's my goal. I'm trying very very hard to do that. It's of course you, you reach such high frequencies and you you play with so much pressure that it's it's really hard to control. But yeah, that's my task and and that's why I'm pr trying to do uh, in this orchestra, especially which has a tradition about sound and quality. That's really a very very important part of my goal, and I have to work with all conductor, uh, Maestro Gatti, but before Janssen, uh, uh, Ricardo, was all they ask, uh, this kind of control and, and uh, quality. What does it take for a conductor to be successful in this elite ensemble, the RCO? Oh, it's a lot of work. I think it's really the, the, the most is, um, you can see how much, uh, how demanding it is and uh, how much quality you must have. Um, of course, there is natural abilities, some of them are more gifted, but there is also all the preparation. We need somebody who come with a vision in the musical, with somebody who can communicate this vision, So, but it means a lot of work, analysis, historical perspective, um, also technically which, uh, somebody which is able to solve the problem, and there are many, many ways of, of solving the technique of one conductor is not the technique of, of another one. Uh, you have to try, you have to, to, to look for a different thing. So I think it, it's such a, a combination of uh, uh, mental, emotional, physical, um, uh, charismatic abilities. Um, we need that and it's very, very uh, seldom. So that's why there's so little very, very great conductor in the world. Does it give you new perspectives, uh, these master classes by Daniel Gatti as a orchestral player? Yes, for me, it, it's, it's really fantastic to see how deep it goes. Sometime before we have to so little time uh, rehearse, uh, and he's so good in, in t uh, doing everything technically, he doesn't sometimes take the time to, to explain us what's his vision and why he, he takes some choice. But I think for the, for the audience, the result is there. For, for us, it's really nice to see that everything he's doing has a really deep musical uh, uh, reason. And all everything is prepared and everything is to help us and, and to make the final result as good as possible for the audience. Vincent Cartrin, thank you so much for joining me. My pleasure. Uh, in just a moment, we will change the repertoire from this exciting uh, Stravinsky towards a moving uh, grand finale in Gustav Mahler's Symphony No. 4 with the young Dutch soprano Nikki Treunit uh, joining us in the main hall.
Well now, 
Time for the grand finale with Mahler's Symphony No. 4. Valentina Peleggi and Sergei Neller are the conductors, and we're joined by young soprano Nikki Turnit. Please welcome them with warmth. Uh, Valentina is starting, and our coach is Daniele Gatti. Good morning. No, you can, you can. She comes later. Yes. Figure eight. Yes. Let's take Mahler first movement, figure eight.
that you has a bit of difficulties to keep the tempo. Then the tempo is getting slower and slower. Yes. And especially when there is a, uh, the section when Mahler wants to go faster. This? Listen, it's prepared by Einwendig Drängen. And this Einwendig Drängen arrives here. But then here, I don't know, you return quasi a tempo primo. And this part was, and then you change it again the tempo, all of a sudden here. Mm -hmm. It was, the last sentence was quite quicker. Mm -hmm. So the proportion, first of all, the proportion <coughs> conduct from here. Nine. One bar before, one bar before nine, and then you have to drive the music until this. Mm -hmm. The hard for me is to is to imagine a tempo which is fast but not rushing, you know, with sense no, of rhythm. it's fließend. Yes, but yeah, but ein wenig drängend. Mm -hmm. Ein wenig drängend goes to fließend. Yes, it's not mother not is not right. Ein wenig drängend. A tempo, mm -hmm. o tempo primo. Yes. It's recent. Okay. Scorrevole. One before nine, please. Yes, yes, yes. Please, 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 play, play. Okay. I want uh, that you find the proportion. One, two, three, four. One. One. No more, no more, no more. Now, two. Oh, check, check, check. Uh, two. Uh. Basically, one, one bar before. Thank you. Basically, one bar before is already kind of there. No, no, no. It could be. But the problem is that you, when we are here, you slow down the tempo. Ah, okay. No? Yes. Okay, let, I'll try one more uh. time. One for nine. And when I said no more, it's because otherwise we are going really more to pure allegro. Uh -huh. So it has to be more gradual. It has to be graduale. Si. Okay. Music, I'm, I'm saying, I'm not the gospel in my pocket about this, eh? but the feeling is that when you start uh, accelerando or drängen, you have to start and then, and then, and then, not subito, and then you are lost yourself because you, there is no more space. Mm? Let's try this. No, I don't need it. much indication when you, you have to be concentrated in, in, in one thing. Be a little bit egoistic in this case. Egoistic because you have to consider how, how will be the, the stringendo, no? if, if you feel insecure. So if you co start to, to give indication, you are concentrated on other things and you lose the main things Why we repeat. Organic, but then uh, avoid uh, the steps. Uh, subito più rapido, poi the, uh, and then to più rapido, and then maybe. Okay, yes. organic, organic. Sì. Try. Calma, 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 calma. Two, three, ancora 
calma, calma. Now, stop. And you have four bars again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. We are right. No more. One, two, three. Tempo. Decisa. Don't wait the flute. And then we are in another, in another area. Now, you asked me about, uh, if you want to work a little bit yes. uh, about the style. I have the impression that when you read it, it was nice, but the sound that you obtained, the, 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 what, what you what you was looking for, it was, it was okay, a little bit tardo romantic view. Close to a sort of Brahms sound, despite there are a lot of staccato accent. It was not so modern like it is this develop, absolutely modern, and creating, as we said, a clash with the first part of the symphony. So, the, f the introduction, the first tema, all the first part, all, all, all the develop, it, we do not have Boucher horn, Sordina, Ponticello, Collegno, etc., etc., etc. The orchestration is uh, by made a man of 20th century, which is contrasting dramatically with the first part of the symphony, which it could be really a, a relative of Mr. Haydn. N in the first part, it doesn't use any elements of the, the new theory of, of orchestration, new color, which is reserved here. <coughs> Probably because uh, we, we have to investigate that. But the fact is that this starts a new vision a distortion vision uh, of the first part of the symphony. Now, beginning. Tra, 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 tra. Maybe the first violin is playing is quite um, toti. Maybe it should be ti ta 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 and extremely, extremely exaggerates the dynamics. Ta ri ira arrive a zero and arrive a forte and then returning zero not propose a sort of hairpins that's uh, floating like this, like a dream. It's like an ancient and angosha. So, Mr. Uh, Vesco could play pom, 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 tati, yori, yori, very, really exaggerate. They, it's the clarinet this time, okay? That's right. Tempo could, primo. Could we expand these extreme dynamics to the orchestra as well, or is something just for well, the solo? Well, well. In general, in general, all these kind of. And we see okay, step okay. by step. Was not in focus the, <laughs> the accent, sour color, pizzicati character. It was more, uh, as I said, uh, tardo romantic, beautiful, uh, comfortable, bourgeois way to do. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. And <coughs> beat, manja, beat the, 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 the Vorschlag. More accent on the Vorschlag. Yeah, 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 on the Vorschlag. Go. Also of Boeing. Uh, yeah, what is this? I would uh, I want to help my leader because in the Boeing that he has uh, probably doesn't work what we re require. Change here, change here when you arrive. Again up. Down here. Oh, yeah. And then again. So, da 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 di, di. No? Yeah. no uh, sorry, it's here, the down bow. Yeah. Let's see. Be careful, don't lose too quick. Yep, 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 yep. Go. Now, 
now. Stop, stop. Uh, are you producing a, a very good pizzicato? Can I have, can we have a more metallic pizzicato at the beginning? Subito, fortissimo. You are not obtaining it fortissimo pizzicato. You want to listen a fortissimo pizzicato? Please. One, two. And uh, quicker diminuendo, quicker diminuendo. And the... Okay. Now the horn was genius, bravissimo. Excellent. But if you want, you can also ask. He play a beautiful forte. Why not to try, Lawrence, to go beyond, a little bit more kek, with this kind of character. Eh? So at the limit of the, 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 the beautiful sound, but a little bit more, uh, the other colleague says, angry. <laughs> Our friend Sergei. A little bit more personality and arrogance. You want to work about <laughs> character. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, now. Here. Do you have bar numbers? No. no. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, okay, but they know by heart the scene for this. Plum, 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 okay? It's before nine. Six two, four, before six, nine. Seven, seven. Seven before nine. Right? things to say. Lawrence's was very good. I think the character doesn't arrive from the first upbeat. It's, I feel that's the only one. But it's the upbeat that is a surprise. If the upbeat is already pam paralam pam, subito the upbeat. And not pam paralam pam paralam pam, subito arrogant in the first note. They are losing a little bit uh, the stec secco stac uh, pizzicato now. Eh? When we repeated, it was beautiful, but too round, secco. And now, don't exaggerate with the gestures. They understood, OK? There we are. Go. Her piece here. Violins. No, 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 my, my love. Here, here. Ta -da -da -tri 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 -tri. It's so unnatural. What uh, uh, I think I had to written. drive uh, no, no, yes, you, okay, okay. Here is uh, the, the main thing. I love to do that. Do yeah, and do it. Okay, yeah, do it now. Yes, no, sure. just violins, <laughs> just violins. <laughs> then, this is, uh, this is a little bit less important. About what you, you remember, you asked the first violin. Now it's developing this. So, first violin alone, up beat of nine. Yeah, but you, you, you have to watch her. Please, <laughs> play like, like her. Here, basically. Uh, she did, she did like this. Oh, this is unfair. And this is okay, the result. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine, it's fine. I got it, I got it. Okay, one, one, two. Emphasis, emphasis. Now, now, now. Yes. Okay, good. Ah. 
<laughs> okay. Yes. Wow. Oh, it's really natural. No? It's, it's a crazy melody sang by, by someone that has a, some problems. <laughs> <laughs> Bassoon, one bar before nine. Play, please. Just the bassoon, listen. Oh, the forte, like? Ah, uh, yes. yes. Difficult to listen. The two bassoon, please. One before nine. <laughs> until the, the end, until the, to die with the last note. Yes. So they can start under oh, the And the they, the solving then. But when we have to, and he starts, they start gently, but there is this mad, let's keep going there. One more thing. We have the sound of the boucher. First boucher since the beginning of the symphony. It comes here, mm -hmm. three, two and a half bars before nine. But if we are listen this E flat, well, sorry, the E natural boucher of form two and four, that it could be wah, sour and then diminuendo. The same E is played fortissimo by our Chile friends, which we are going to ask fortissimo non vibrato. Oh, Four uh, and second horn, please. Three bars before nine and Chile three bars before nine. Listen, then, the, the connection. Conductor. Three before nine. Horns, yes. two and four, and Chile. Ah, yes. Ah, once more again. Did you listen to that one? Could be stronger. Could, could be stronger. And don't. We can also say, Celli, to play just the E. Touch it the bar before. But should be. Should be we, the the diminuendo leading to them, or just no, e, the, e? No, no, what is arriving to I say, wah, bam. Uh -huh. Because it's covered by other things. But it's very clear that we have the, 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 the boucher notes in that, that it could be wah, a little bit, little bit longer than diminuendo, and they have to start uh, much more sour and metallic, maybe, and not rounder, because they are also uh, are able to obtain no vibrato but round. It depends where they play. If they play like this, much closer to the fingerboard, or closer, and not on the bridge, closer to the, to the, to the bridge. Mm -hmm. So, Celli, can we have this me, E? One, two. Yeah, more attacca, more attacca. Huh? And then via. Now, mix with the horns. Okay, now tutti. Do you think it should be also some the same? Uh -huh. Can I ask? Sure. Can I ask you? The, the same uh, qu quanti amount of diminuendo. Yes, yes, but right. We are working now to uh, to have very clear, very clear timbre, color. Yes. Then we can decide 100 gram, 85 gram, and think like this. <laughs> what is should be clear for the audience and also for the play is that. Da, 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 da. <laughs> answer in this way. Then the diminuendo, it will be okay because they listen each other. I see. But now for them it's clear how to start this E and why. I see. Why I do I have to play no vibrato? Ah, oh, I understand it belongs to the sound that my colleagues produced before. Put together. Yes. Seven before nine. We have a lot to, to control and not to conduct, to control. The pizzicato, the start of Lawrence. Then this, the chords there, and the answer of the chair. Okay. <laughs> Ansia, ansia, ansia.
Good. That's good. In this example, Valentina, we have now to see the first variant starts pararararara on the G. No? Mm -hmm. uh, two, four, two, uh, yeah, almost four, uh, up bit of four bars before nine. They start just forte. But the sound is beautiful and round. I think I'm not asking them uh, ugly sound. But a little bit uh, why he, he puts that on the G and not on the normal strings. First position. No. Just forte. Maybe he's. <coughs> no, you know. It's not full of. Uh, uh, it's not schwungvoll, but it's and not usually the first vi the violins when they go to play on the G is the moment that they enjoy the pr producing sound. It comes when we are in the school, no? They play there and then we make some notes there immediately. There's a sort of pleasure, physical pleasure to play on the G, no? It is like that, <laughs> no? <laughs> no? It depends, but usually, no, when you play to there, and, and then listen. This is the position of some time, no, to listen. It's a fantastic feeling. But now, if they produce la -ra 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 -ra, lyrical, a cantabile, it's not what Mahler probably desired. He wants da -ra 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 -ra. Can we play? One, two. <laughs> you see? And there's uh, more diminuendo. Ah. Wow. You see, can you play like before when you play quasi Brahms? Up, the <laughs> <laughs> you see, the emphasis goes so on the eighth, and they play like this. Should we on? Yes. Good. This is very interesting for the orchestration. Twelve. to listen for me, oboe, and uh, uh, the flute uh, three and four with the oboe at the end of the tema, because the clarinet is piano, but pianissimo, not so enough pianissimo in this area. Please listen again. Twelve. I do? You do. Oh, just stick. <laughs> Something is, uh, is unclear at the end of the bar. Again, oboe and clarinet, sorry. And third and fourth flute. You see that tarararara is uh, embedded at <laughs> the flute part, the, the clarinet passes here. So probably they have to, the piano of the flutes, but the oboe has to play forte until the end. He reduced. No, stay. And, and then with the support of the flute, with just the support of the flute. Okay. Invite the oboe to finish the phrase with the sonority. Okay. Without the minuendo. Solo. Huh? Clearer now. Yes, yes. This is very interesting. Uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque. Fifth of twelve. All the members that are involved, fifth of twelve. Percussion too. What's happening in the music here? You did correct, you did great, they play precise. Once more again, listen now and knock on that.
the music is waiting, something has to happen. No? Probably the color of that is correct, but it could be a little bit more mysterious. Well, trumpet and especially Becken. Can I have the bar, one bar later? Uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, six of twelve. Six of twelve. The flutes, trumpets, and, 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 and piatti. Okay, possible più piano, quasi pianissimo for flutes and trumpet. Da, 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 non da, 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 floating, okay? Without a direction, just there. No percussion, go. Okay, now, piatto solo. You see? The the beginning, then there is, then quasi pizzicato again. No, no, no. Play like before. You see? No. You have uh, a softer um, mallet. Mallet. That's right. Something more softer and darker. Let's try with this one. Together. The before, the, 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 the stick they used before. The, the clearest you have now. Now you can choose. Okay. <laughs> Now you can choose. If you want, uh, if you want, uh, if you want a darker color, it's not there. It's the percussion that uh, helps you. Mm. So, now, one one performance with uh, this this stick. Okay, the last one. But sir, try. I don't want to listen. it. Dang! It's just quasi caressing. Huh? Caressing the surface. Twelve. Basta. Now the, the darkest. You see with big difference? Huge. Huge. Now it's in your projects. Uh, if you want to stop the music and have this mysteri mysterious moment, moment with the darker, which I like more mm -hmm. personally, rather than the first, which is too brilliant. Light. Okay, and instead the second one creates a, 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 a surround of, of, of stereos in that. But this is my personal choice. Yes, I yes. try to show you how it's possible. And especially, avoid the flute and trumpet play dang, dang, dang. But ti, 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 and let it suspend. One more thing. Fourteen, my friends. Celli, what is written? Botticelli. Celli soli, please. Uh, yeah. Fourth bar, yes. Yes. One, two. Yeah. No, Sorry. It's the sound, the sound. Sponticello. Okay? Yes. Uh, uh. Ponticello. Some players play close to the ponticello, not on the ponticello. Really, on the ponticello. On the ponticello. Okay. Yes. Whoa, that's scary. Huh? <laughs> uh, 
This is really Ponticello. The other position is verso il Ponticello, close to the Ponticello. This is the Ponticello. And now they have to force because it's an unexplored area. <laughs> no one is playing there. But this is really al Ponticello. 14. I introduce to the orchestra uh, our beautiful singer Nikki. Welcome, Nikki. <laughs> so, let's start, please, with the end of the third movement. Eight so you want chair? before yeah. twelve, please. Eight before twelve. We bring the chair. Uh, There, there. You can stay eight there. before twelve. Yeah. Third. Okay. Third then movement. Eight before maybe twelve. Maybe working a bit. Third movement. One. Last movement. Eh? No, third movement. End of the third movement. Eight before twelve, please.
Fabre. Thank you very much. I, uh, for me, there is a lot to say about the finale of that. But now we have Nikki here. We talk this afternoon about this. Yeah. So work with her and with the members in uh, for, for this. Please, let's try to begin the finale much softer because this is the music beyond the world. We are all already dead after the climax in the third moment. And now it's something absolutely... You have the microphone, eh? <laughs> Careful. Because without microphone, uh, I think uh, it's impossible to, to understand. Absolutely not here. Now, uh, Celi, can we please do this glissandi? Just give a hint. N not the whole glissandi, taram, just taram, taram. Not until the... Um, the song. Once more, please. At the beginning of the finale. The, the glissando don't until? Not until. The G. The G, exactly. And Just tear palm. Tear palm. Ah, poco glissando. Poco glissando. Yeah, otherwise it's but too tear. Have you, have you listened to you? Have you listened to that? It, it was a little too much for my taste. Ah. I think uh, you were really connected in that. You would never put care about this. I, I have the impression that we were conducting this, but okay. Mm -hmm. Once more, please, finale. The beginning, the beginning of the finale. What you said before, Sergei, what kind of sonority are you asking? Beyond the world, mysterious, softer. Yeah, have you controlled your uh, your technique and your beat? Yes. <laughs> it's happy. Okay. Every time in these three days, you all the time start from this position. If you have to start uh, a soft a bit an energic upbeat, every time you are like this. is doing to even more comfortable because we are in paradise not in the hell hey <laughs> listen 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 try to not answer every time okay hmm? <laughs> and uh, be a little bit more uh, okay okay I try to help you, not, no, I'm not against you, I try to help you. So, if you want a pianissimo, a calogero has to play pianissimo through and not develop the sound, and he's able to do, to have a, a sort of viral sound, a sound that is coming, as you st rightly said, from the, from, from the even, and from the even, and he, he's still there. You have to reach him, it's not that he's coming to us. Response also to you because at, the, at the one time you, then you try to, to to enjoy the to love the music a lot and it's fine, but then the the, the magie of the beginning it was uh, it was destroyed. Okay, yeah. Once more, please. You 
like the forte like this? A little stronger, a little huh? stronger. Bravo. This is a little bit out of the context. If we set up the dynamic that is the pianissimus here, now here, here, so the forte is a forte that uh, was too similar to the first movement forte. Mm -hmm. Maybe in uh, real things, if we can measure that, is it not more than a good mezzo piano? Mm -hmm. Because in this context, okay? So. Okay, I'll show you. Uno, due, tre, quattro. The bar fourth, bar fourth is fine. Bar number four, please. Why you slow down? Why you slow down? Why you slow down? You, you, you smile to them and then you slow down. You smile and then you slow down. <laughs> Once more, please. Stop the beat here. Bravo, bravo. Next stop, sorry, excuse me, Nikki. It's fine. Now it's under control the orchestra until here, but when they arrive at the climax, they didn't respect piano subito the horns. Because I didn't show it, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, or, or, or at least just to, to get okay. just a, okay. a okay. click with the eyes and say, be careful next time. They have fortissimo diminuendo here, but the first flute, no, together. It should be quick diminuendo to get pianissimo. So the diminuendo in one bit of the bar is not enough to get. Why? Because they want to talk. It's not a normal diminuendo, like a farewell. It's la ra 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 ra. Ah, okay, we are not disturbing. And in one beat, the angels return in their position to listen what the other angel has to sing. But you know why is written there the diminuendo and not before? You with fantasy and to yeah. understand that, you know. Um, Same spot? No. Uno, <laughs> due, tre, but five before one. Five before one, please. Be careful, we are they are on the fourth, uh, without the generator. Eh? The beat, the beat. Horse. atmosphere. Can you just do a little bit more with me? Ihr tischen meiden mo em. Yeah, um, I'll show you this, okay? Um, uh, yeah, figure one, please, figure one. Figure one is? Directly, ah, yeah. Tell her. <laughs> <laughs> Conducting her, but uh, it's not a, a single lesson. You are conducting the, those four bars, try to say, let's do together, but you have an impact that you say, follow me, otherwise I destroy you when it's finished the rehearsal. Eh? <laughs> 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 
I didn't mean it. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. You are so pure, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm sometimes a rebel. <laughs> but I have to, I have to. Because we, you have now she, that is, uh, maybe you can, can work with, uh, with one big name, soprano, with mystery. You can sing with them, but without to give them the impression that you pass every single word. To make a air or the singer in the condition to explain and to have someone, you in this case is a partner, to support her, mm -hmm. to listen, to enjoy her singing, and just, I'm not saying follow, but support. Mm? It's another kind of attitude. Can we do two bars, one bar before, uh, two bars before one? She's come back. I, I want something different, but I just show her there one or two places, you know, rather than two. Okay, I will not dictate. Yeah, okay. No, no, no. It's another kind of, it's, it's a more, more gentle behavior. Mm. In this edition, it's not written, but I found in edition, all this, all this <laughs> movement must be accompanied with the maximum discretion. No, discreet. You must be discreet. They play discreet. And she must have all the space to, to explain that. Go on. There is nothing to say here about that, so you, uh, it's quite, quite good because they listen. It's not for some time we have not to find the problem. If the problem it doesn't exist, no? you know, this is another good rule. If we have a good solution, go on. In this case, they play beautifully. They, are com they make Very an accompaniment. Yeah. Yes. Maybe we can ask Nikki if it's possible to, 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 to obtain from the second, from the beginning, from the beginning. Che è smarcato pianissimo. She, sta she starts to tell us a fairy tale. She's not start uh, with the text to say, Yesterday. Da 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 da. She said, Irgenissen. Hey, everybody, I tell you now, how is the life in paradise? How you start, uh, you are at, at, at 50% of the job. And then, difficult for the singer, the second bar, because in that position, mezzo soprano, the risk is that close to the passaggio, she hit a little bit rather than like the clarinet. So maybe we can ask yeah. if you're willing to try, pronunciate the beginning, and then you know, swimming in the in the second bar without privilege one note of the other. Mm -hmm. Please, Nikki, do a little bit more marcato in the beginning. Yeah, I yes, said. Yeah. Thank you. Two before and one. Eh? Two before one. It's not marcato. It's it's not marcato. You you was, uh, no, it's not marcato. Is invite the test. Invite the test to be magic. Uh -huh. It's not there the diminuendo. The horns are the pianissimo subito, Sergei. You ask the diminuendo. No, oh, the resolution is already pianissimo. <coughs> Sergei, 
much, much, for me, much more convincing, but be careful with the tape. You are doing a nice subito più mosso here. I know, yeah. Okay, my question is, I'm not complaining the tempo, Zel Behegrich, but is a, is a little angel who's singing. Yeah. He's a little angel. It's not uh, my grandmother. Virgenis <laughs> and the, the, the tempo you, that you have to find with her is something between the naive uh, f poetry, the, the, the naivete and the, the, the tenderness and the sweetness. I have the impression that probably this tempo is too heavy, mm -hmm. despite its play pianissimo. No? Mm -hmm. Let's try, let's try two bars before. <sighs> She tells a story in, with, in, in very naive way. It was beautiful what you did. It was uh, a miracle. Uh, it, it was fine. But my, my advice is don't forget the meaning of this. Then you can go with the tempo that you choose. But if the impression from me or other people that we are outside is oh, this, this something that is, I'm not going it's beautiful, but why it is it's so... F and then why is changing tempo? Mm -hmm. hmm? With her, let's do here now. I'd like to do this transition, okay, yeah? Fine. Figure two. So let's do two before two. Two before two. Did you notice something? Um, in what sense? In the sense of your profession. Uh. <laughs> I noted one very important thing. Because you said, I want to do from two, and yeah. I'm listening. Yeah, because of the transition, because no, of no, the new no, tempo. No, 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 okay, do another time. Listen, them, and her. Huh? First time it, it, it was quite not together. No, I'm to yes, okay. Uh, I'm talking the about the more important things uh, in a musical expression. Last time, listen, musical expression, not ensemble. I think first two times it was too heavy, and now it's... No, the main thing is that Mahler has marked legato for the soprano, yeah. the first two bars. The first two bars. Then there is no more legato in the next two bars, and then legato again, and then no legato. Oh, now I see what you mean. <laughs> I mean that the first phrase she sings is legato, full of poetry. Bar three and four is quasi declamando, declamando, or I'm not saying it's differ different than from recitativo. It's declamando. The difference is between the lirismo and to explain with the words and the clarity of the word, abandoning the legato. And then in bar three and four, there are two commas. Mm -hmm. So the character, our character here, starts to sing a, a legato phrase, painting, what is it? And then explain in a much more uh, concrete way. No? Sie dehen, Doktor, 
this second part uh, is not cantabile. And she sings also cantabile, bar three and four. Yeah, because of me. No, no, because of you. Because, it's because <laughs> she's prepared like this. <laughs> okay. So if you want a difference, and she can make this difference, I have to, yeah, to explain better to her. Hmm? This part, yes. it should be. Yes. Hmm? Can we try? Mm, same spot, please. The problem is, in the tempo that you choose, it could work the first two bars, but it doesn't work bar three and four. No, it's difficult, yeah. Because you are too slow. Mm -hmm. So the tempo is, is, is a, a good advice to take the tempo, if you want to decide how f fast is the listen, from bar three and from, from the soprano. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see, can you sing for us uh, bar three and four? Sinterno. Sinterno. Ganz lustig. Ganz lustig. Very funny, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I, I would like to listen that again. <laughs> There are two briefs. See then, no can't lose this, can't lose. The second brief, the first brief is because she wants to insist in, this, in, the, in the context of the text. Instead she sings. There is no meaning, theatrical meaning for that. And then another brief before. Of course at this tempo, the soprano, Mezzo soprano doesn't need to breathe. Soprano, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Our baritone yes. needs uh, 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 <laughs> this, those breaths. She can sing all the phrase without, but we have to force to uh, to uh, to interpret the breath in more theatrical way, in more dramatical way. No? Okay? So let's try a little bit quicker considering this tempo. Two yeah. before two. I'm really bad. What? Go! Very good. That's good. Aspetta, aspetta, don't, don't, don't dream. Wait. Again. Again legato. Yeah. So, virtanze, we can use a little bit of madrigalism in tanzen, and not virtanzen, but tanzen. Ask the soprano to go immediately to the N and not stay on the A. Tanzen. No, tan, tan, non, non tan, tan, tan. Si, if I sing, we're tansen, we're tansen is flat. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're tansen. All of a sudden, I pass a message of something. No? Close also to the movement of the dance. Yeah. And then, da -ri -ra 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 -ri -ra -ra -ra. and to sing the declamato on the consonant, not on the vocal, yeah. when we do the declamato. R, very important, T, S, P, more than the vocal. Once, once with me, I want to do with you. Two before two. You are a little bit too quick now. It's a, it's, a, it's a good tempo for her. I have also to understand her voice. Please. 
Last time for me, please. because in the chest voice we produce it. If the voice goes a little bit more in the head, it's much better. So sing not with this power in the chest, but a little virtan, virtan. I'm flat. Virtan. <laughs> <laughs> Last time, then we finish. <coughs> We said legato. You are you giving a beat which is not legato. Even if I, no, if I, and she's if she's answered better. Bir. Instead is dir führen legato. I invite uh, uh, our other three musicians here. First of all, uh, thank you to the, my members of the Concertgebouw Orchestra. They, they were absolutely splendid, and I was amazed to see how you participate with your heart uh, to, to this masterclass. For, uh, we did something, I think it was nice, no? To stay together <laughs> like this. It was really nice. <laughs> thank you. Thank you to the, 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 the Concert about Management Orchestra, which was fantastic to organize a thing like this, with all the followers that we had uh, live and uh, in this incredible place. And thank you especially to you, all of you. Thank you, Niki, for, for to, to cooperate with us. Bravissima. <laughs> thank you. Thank you really to all you are four. You 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 were you are four different personality from two days ago to until today. I think no, <laughs> something changed probably in in your uh, in your life. And thank you because you gave me the opportunity also to learn a lot from you. <laughs> really, I had this chance, uh, and every time I do this is uh, 
it's a great challenge for me too. And uh, when I back home, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, ah, how can I do better? And thank you because you were here and you gave me this opportunity. <laughs> Grazie. <laughs> I ca you can share. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, Maestro, I don't think I'm overstating it. You love to teach. It's not teaching this. Uh, I, I think it's not possible to teach uh, the art of conducting. I think it's a, a matter of experience. Uh, I hope just to pass to them some information. Well, but I, I don't think it's, uh, I believe that maybe people that are listening to me think that I'm crazy, or maybe there are other philosophy that is possible to teach, one, two, three, four. But when you are start to beat one, two, three, four, it's, it's just the beginning. Uh, if you do not have an orchestra, which is responding precisely what are you doing, you cannot measure yourself. And uh, it's not teaching, it's passing some moments in making music together, maybe. Of course, I'm more experienced of them, but uh, I remember when I when I was at their age, I, it was most more, more or less the same. So, a conductor must have his own personality, like every musician, in front of the music, in in front of an interpretation, he must be prepared, secure to talk and to be at the filter between the composition and the audience. And he's arrived with some ideas. Maybe it's not enough. Uh, we must have more uh, tools to resolve problems. And today, we resolve in two different ways, problems also yesterday. So I want that they could arrive tomorrow in front of an orchestra, and if there is a, any problem, they are able to overtake that, to resolve and to be helpful for the player. Well, so thank you for sharing your in-depth experience, your grand new perspectives on life and on music, mm -hmm. and on behalf of all of us, we loved to listen to you, Daniele Gatti. It was Thanks. a joy. Thank you so much. So, last thing, sir. Last thing. For the other friends, conductor, we start at 3 o'clock this afternoon, okay? Thank you. Have a last lunch. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Maestro, thank you so much. Hey, well done. Well done.